Hey everyone, welcome back to Field of Feast. It's been a year and a half since I've loaded anything up. Some of you have uh, mentioned that you've missed me. I've missed you too. I love doing Field of Feast, but I've been so busy. Uh, 2014, we filmed a feature film called Rise of the Sea Urchins, which is just a family comedy movie. It's really, really fun. I'm very proud of it. We released it in 2015. That took a huge amount of time while I kept my business going. I've been really busy with film work, and uh, so I, I love what I do. I love making film. I just haven't had enough time to do Field of Feast in the last uh, year or so. However, I got to go out. I live now in uh, Brownsville, Texas, uh, part-time. I got to go out on the Laguna Madre with a friend named Ramiro Cardenas, and uh, we got out on the water uh, fishing reds and fishing spotted sea trout, red drum. And uh, I just want to welcome you back to Field of Feast. Hopefully, I'll be able to load some more of these in the future. I've got four or five that I actually filmed, but I don't have, I haven't made into uh, Field of Feast episodes, but I'm hoping to do this more. So, thanks for uh, tuning in and watching. We're going to be fishing red drum and um, spotted uh, sea trout today. Two of my favorite baits are uh, gulp, uh, they don't sponsor me. Uh, but uh, this is a gulp uh, uh, penny color shrimp. This is a, a gulp mullet and I like to use four inch on all of these because I like to uh, keep the small piggy perch away from them as much as I can and, and pick up the bigger fish if I can. Um, we use throw a lot of plastics. Uh, Ramiro, uh, he throws a lot of uh, different types of plastics like yum and uh, but there's patterns that work on different occasions. This past weekend, we were throwing the uh, the, the dark uh, uh, mullet with uh, with the uh, chartreuse tails. I couldn't pick up the fish that we were seeing. We were seeing some red drum. I wasn't being able to pick them up. I only had four penny colored shrimp with me, and I caught three uh, three drum. They were too small to keep. But I, they also busted up all my, uh, all of my gulp, and I was stuck with only mullet. So you need to have a variety. I have found that with the gulp baits, uh, I wish there was competition out there for gulp, but I have found that the fish do hold on better. Uh, for me personally, they hold on better when you're using gulp than using regular plastics. But regular plastics will work. You just need to find the pattern that seems to be fitting the day. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. At the end of this, uh, at the end of this episode, I will have a live link to my feature film called *Rise of the Sea Urchins*. I didn't find uh, distribution out there on DVDs. If you'd like to see a fun family feature film, if that's your, you know, if that's something you can uh, enjoy, then watch it and uh, support the filmmaking that I do if you can. If you like what we do. And hopefully we'll be able to not only make more field of feasts in the future, hopefully we'll be able to do feature films in the future. So enjoy the movie. We're stopping outside the intercoastal, which is where the uh, barges can go up and down. It they can draft deeper. It's it's a uh, it's dredged out, and then we're we're drifting with the wind and gonna try to find uh, gonna try to find where they might be on the flats out here. If we get into them, we'll probably anchor and then wait or fish. So, just trying to find where they're at. All right, well, this is my first fish right there. He's a spotted sea trout. And he's not very big, so I'm gonna let him go. But, it's a start. Bait fish are topping. All right. And he sets the hook. So let's get. Oh, you got off. I keep hoping we're kind of into thick of the. They're smaller trout, but I keep hoping to get Ramiro catch it, getting one on here. But he's not. He's not delivering up right at the moment. We're going to keep the camera rolling.
Camaro just caught one. Looks a little bit too small to keep, but that's our fourth fish already. So we just anchored. I've got a clip of uh, Romero picking up one here. I just picked up the first one that's uh, the first uh, spotted sea trout that we're going to be able to keep. This is him right here. And as you can see, I'm using a I'm using a, a black or dark purple gulp. I'm using a dark purple gulp with a chartreuse tail, and um, using a um, eighth ounce uh, lead jig head. A lot of guys uh, use sixteenth ounce. I used to use a quarter ounce, but most of the guys fish with an eighth ounce. And quarter ounce is usually too heavy because it'll drag the bottom. Most of the water out here is only two to three feet deep, so you have to fish it really fast. But uh, one of the mistakes that people make is that thinking that um, trout or redfish can't um, pick that bait up if you're fishing fishing it too fast. But I always tell people you can't you can't reel a bait faster than you, than that trout or that uh, redfish can close the gap. If it comes in front of them, they're going to close the gap and catch them. You're going to catch them. So anyway, let's start. Okay, so at this point, I've caught five, and. Um, I see that uh, Romero has caught one that was a keeper. He's caught probably seven or eight wader fishing. So I'm put my waders on and I'm going to go wader fish. But because this is not really a weather sealed camera, I don't think I'm going to take the camera with me or try to keep it in a plastic bag and pull it out and all that. So we'll see uh, if we catch a fish or two. I'll give you a report when I'm back at the boat. For now, I'll just show you where. Romero is. There's an island there. I'll try to zoom in on him a little bit. There's an island there that he's fishing at, that Romero's at. He just picked up a keeper and uh, I'm going to work that edge a little bit farther out than him. All right, I just got a red right here. And he's probably 24. I don't think I got the fight on because I had zoomed in. But uh, the um, but uh, we still got a black drum probably going to come in. And I'm going to see if I can pick up another red. So check back in here. All right, look. Are the fish, the red, still there? Do you see them? going crazy over there. Um, we think a bunch of reds has just chased a bunch of bait fish over over there. Romero's got a huge fish on so we think it's probably a, a black drum. Okay we're 15 minutes into this fish but it's just too interesting for me to fish so I'm gonna we're gonna catch Romero 
getting this fish in. Now we've got two or three dolphins coming in close by, so I'm going to try to get them. Romero's still, still fighting this fish. I asked him just a minute ago if he thought he maybe he was just hung up on the bottom, but it doesn't seem that way. All right, I got a red on. We're gonna try to see if I can bring this guy. I've got two in here. And we're about to get this one in. Okay. So that's number three for me, which is my limit. And, uh, but I'm going to measure him. He may be one I have to use a trophy tag on. We'll see. And all the while, Still got one on this big black drum, I think. Romero's been on this fish probably about 30 minutes at this point, so we think it's an oversized black drum, uh, which I mean releasing it, uh, which is fine. Uh, they're wormy at that when they're really big anyway. So what we think is a black drum, uh, I think we're at about 35 or 40 still running. Every every time he gets close, he's still running, which is stripping out a lot of lines. Good fight. All right, Romero's been on now 55 minutes with this drum. So at this point, he can't let he can't let him break off because we've got too much footage of him bringing him in. No pressure though, no pressure. And uh, at this point, in the words of Joss, uh, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. So I've gotta give a status report. It's been an, how long has it been? An hour and 20 minutes now. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. And, man, so, <laughs> it's almost 11.20. So at lunch, uh, I'm gonna go for lunch and I'll come back and, and uh, get Romero after lunch. There's the boat over there. I actually think this drum is trying to drag Romero out to the uh, open water so it can eat him. Well, we're an hour and 30 minutes into it, but Romero's gaining ground on him now. So. Well, the good news fun. is it was a great fish. It was a great fish, but at the end, uh, line line well, fatigue uh, broke. Oh, we waiter fished, and we picked up a few more. There's the one nice trout. <laughs> so that's a good mess of uh, red red drum and trout. I got, we've got dolphins right here beside us. There they are. Oh my goodness, Christine would have loved to have been here. Look at this whole pod of dolphins. Look at them go. <laughs> now that was an awesome bonus. And there's a big, several groups of them out here with us. I, I, now those, are, those are headed on. There he goes, right underneath us, right there. You can see that. 
Oh, and there he is right here, right underneath us. There he goes, right in front of us. Oh my goodness. He keeps coming back and forth, crossing in front of us right here. Oh my goodness, he's looking at us over and over again. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.